Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So already in our previous video, I have discussed in detail how we can connect AWS Glue with Snowflake if you are using PySpark, right? That time we use certain JDBC connections and what are the jar files we need to make that connectivity in between PySpark and Snowflake. That also I have shared with you so that you will be facing no problem. All you have to do, you have to download those jar files and upload in a S3 location that can be a folder or in bucket level you can store. And while creating the glue job, you can point to that particular location and use that in your PySpark code to make connectivity between glue and snowflake, right? That is the story if you are using PySpark. But yesterday I got a very interesting comment in that particular video. That is, is it mandatory to have Spark to connect to Snowflake? Like only using Spark we will be able to connect. Is it not possible that using native Python can't we connect to Snowflake? That's what it is asked here. That is, can't we directly access data in Snowflake table using SQL in AWS Glue's Python program? The reason I am asking this question is Spark is big data analytics tool and not every application is meant for data analytics. Most business applications are insert, update, select, delete type SQL based programs. So can I embed this kind of SQL queries in AWS Glue's Python script without using Spark in the code? Okay. So basically our this YouTuber friend letter L name is trying to ask that how can we connect Python and Snowflake in Glue using native Python? Okay, not using PySpark, not using JAR files. Okay. Maybe we want to execute some insert query, update query or some transformation we want to do using Snowflake query and that we want to orchestrate using Glue. That kind of stuff how we can do that. That's what it is asked here. Okay. And today in this particular video, I am going to give that particular answer. Okay. And this is the architecture what we have to follow. Basically, if you recall our previous videos where we have executed insert query, update query or any SQL queries in Snowflake from Python while using Lambda. That time we need certain installation, right? Like just for example, Snowflake connector, and there are some other requirements also which we installed first. We created Lambda deployment zip or Lambda layer, and then we use that one to execute our Python code, which is basically running our SQL queries in Snowflake, right? Like that same way, while you are connecting native Python and Snowflake in case of Glue, those dependencies are required. Okay, and it is not like you can simply do pip install this, pip install that for dependencies installation in case of native Python. Okay, what you have to do that time? That time you have to create wheel files. Okay, and creating wheel files is a bit tricky. There are a lot of explanations, documentations are available in internet. But I got a wheel file from GitHub which we can directly use as a ready-made wheel file to connect in between python and snowflake in aws glue okay i will be sharing that particular wheel file i will show you how to use that so that you can download that particular wheel file which is basically having all these necessary dependencies all the pip installations are loaded in that particular wheel file and that we can use basically to connect in between glue and snowflake in native python and we can execute all this insert update delete this kind of basic sql queries okay right so without any further delay, let us directly jump into our management console. So first what I will do, I will go to S3 and I will upload that particular wheel file. Okay, this wheel file I will be sharing in the description box or in the comment section also so that you can also take from there and use it for your own purpose. Okay, so I am uploading here. So here I will be taking the wheel file and here I will be uploading that. Okay, that is the first step. Now here what I will do, I will go to my Snowflake account and I will be creating a simple database, create or replace database run. Okay. So here you can see Ramu database is created and if I go here, by default two schemas are there. Information schema is basically storing all the metadata information and public schema we can use to create all the tables or views or Snowflake objects, right? So here it is pretty much uploaded. I will go to here and I'll be copying this particular S3 URL because that we need to create glue job. And then here what I will do, I will go to AWS glue. Okay. And then here I will go to jobs. I want to create a simple Python job, not a PySpark job. Okay. So what I will do first, I will click on add job. 
name I can give demo glue testing. Okay, I am role we have to create. So I I will go to create I am role. I am going to create a very simple I am role here. Okay, so I will go to create role, and I want to create for glue. And then here I want to give S3 access, okay. And CloudWatch access also I'll be giving. I am giving full access, but we can fine tune the access before moving to production. Role name I can give native Python glue demo, okay. Right. And then here I can create the role, okay. It is created. I will go back to glue console. I will refresh this part, and here this is the role. I will be taking that now. Type. So currently I don't want Spark job. I want a simple Python job. I will be choosing that. Make sure you are choosing Python three, not Python two. Okay, because this particular Snowflake dependencies work only with Python three. Okay, and then here a new script I want to write. That's fine. And then here I will go to security configuration script libraries. Here you can see Python library path. Okay. So I will be just pasting the library dependency here. Okay, that way Glue will take all the Python dependencies from this particular S3. Okay, right. And I will go to next. I don't want to create some explicit connection. I want to just save that and edit this script. So here I have already written a script. What is the script? Import sys import Snowflake connector. So Snowflake connector as a default, it is not available in Glue console, right? That's why we need that quill file, right? And then here get resolve options we are taking. If if required, some kind of parameters you can take as argument also. For that purpose, we can do. And then here I am using this Snowflake connector to create the connection. Okay, username I'll be giving here. Okay, password I'll be putting. Account name first I'll be going to Snowflake, and I'll be taking the account from here. Okay, warehouse is compute wh database name is Ramu because Ramu database just now we created schema name is public that's fine because we are not going to create some other schema so that we can use public schema only and role name account admin if you want some other role you can put that we are creating the cursor how we did in our lambda codes okay and here what we are doing we are creating a table which is having the name test table one two three column names are call one and call two. And we are executing that particular SQL query, and then what we are doing? We are inserting some data in it. Okay, and again we are executing the query. So simple code, just for demo purpose. How to use that particular wheel file for that purpose? I'm showing this. I'll paste that, and I'll be providing the password here. If you want more security, you can put the password in Secret Manager and take from there also. That is also fine. Okay. So I'll be writing the password here, which I cannot show you. So I will skip this particular part. I wrote the password and saved the job. Okay. Now all we can do, we can basically click on this, and in action we can click on Run Job. Before that, let me just confirm and show you in this particular public schema. Currently, no table is there. All we can do, we can basically run this particular job. Okay. And see, our job is now running. Okay. I can click on this particular one, and then here, see, currently it is in running state. Let's wait for a couple of seconds. Soon it will be completing, and then we can see that that particular table with the dummy data is created here. Okay, so all funda is hidden in that wheel file, and I got that wheel file directly available in GitHub, so I am using that. If you are facing some situation where you need some other Python dependencies, okay, that time you have to create the wheel file from scratch and use that. Okay, that will be a bit overhead, but as of now, if you are trying explicitly for Snowflake, then that particular wheel file, whatever I'll be posting in the description box or in the comment section, you can use that. That is perfectly fine. Okay, so it is running. Let's wait for a couple of seconds and see here the job is successful. Okay, I can go to my Snowflake account and in the public schema, see this table is there. I can go to preview data here, whatever dummy data I inserted in that insert query that it is showing here. Okay, like that insert, update, delete, any kind of SQL queries we can execute. Okay, using this approach. I hope this particular video answers this particular question. And if you find this video helpful, then please like, share, and comment. Subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos. Thank you.